Good morning. Welcome back to Breakfast Television. Well, BT's Drew Kozub is visiting Kenora this week and giving us a preview of their winter carnival happening March 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. That's right. Today he's visiting the local ski hill, showing us how you can plan a day of family fun, whether you're a cross-country fan, a downhiller, or, like me, just enjoy sipping a hot chocolate in the chalet. Picturesque and beautiful as we're here in Kenora at the Mount Evergreen Ski Club. What a beautiful place to be spending your time when you're visiting this town. Now let's talk a little bit, Blair, about the cross-country ski trails which we're on right now. You guys take a lot of pride in these, so how do you keep them up to perfect shape? Well, we have a volunteer crew of groomers that go out. Uh, they have a quad with tracks, a pole behind groomer, and they go out um, usually three or four times a week, more when it snows, uh, groom both the skate and the classic. Uh, when we do get heavy snows, we run the downhill groomer around as many of the trails as we can just to give them a hand and uh, speed up that process of packing down that snow so it stays. And uh, you gave us a little tour of the rental area so that we know that you have all the gear. Um, if I want to come out for you here for a day, uh, how much trail am I going to see? They have over 20 kilometers of trail here uh, with both skate and classic. Um, so you have the wide and the, and the narrow trails. Um, so, and when people come out for the day, not only do we have alpine and snowboard rentals, but also cross-country rentals, so you're all set. So cross-country, downhill, snowboarding, you've got it all covered. Let's talk about the social aspect. Why is this a great place to come and make a whole day out? Well, we have so much to do. You, you can do both, and we have the chalet, so you can come out in the morning, do a ski, head in, have a nice family lunch, homemade, uh, you know, soups and sandwiches, hot chocolate, that sort of thing, warm up, and then you could switch, you know, sports, or you could go out and do the same one. So you can literally spend a whole day here, not ski anything twice, uh, have some great food. It's warm, it's inviting, lots of friendly people in the chalet, and you're having a great time. So a great spot for the family, or if you're uh, coming out with some friends, you can, sometimes in the evenings you guys have bands, it's a licensed facility. So uh, depending on the type of occasion that you're out for, there's going to be a wonderful time had. Let's talk a little bit about the hardworking people here, because you guys have sort of a different format than other ski places. Yeah, we are a, a community club. so. You picture your typical community club where you live, they have an ice rink that they support. We're the same thing except we have a ski hill. So we are a registered not-for-profit. Uh, we're highly volunteer run, working board of directors. So we have people who put in countless hours, uh, volunteer hours of work. Uh, we could not actually exist if we didn't have the number of volunteers that we have. And that's the chalet, that's the hill operations, our board of directors, the kids that ski here, they volunteer their time to set up the train park, uh, do work on the, the lifts and stuff like that. So. Volunteering is what makes us run. A lot of people working very hard to make sure that the rest of us can have a great time when we come out to Kenora and enjoy the ski facilities. If you want more information, just go to our website at breakfasttelevision.ca. Take a quick break here on BT, but more to come this morning on City.